Hello, everyone. Um, thank you for joining us today on this call, and I hope you're all doing well. I had some updates to share on the 1.10 APIs and event-based add-ons on Mac. So last time that we I was on this call, we had shared that we are uh, we were in insiders, and the good news is that now Mailbox 1.10 APIs and event-based add-ons are in GA. The minimum version for the Outlook new Outlook for Mac is 16.54, um, and this is supported again on the new Outlook for Mac. So you need to toggle on that switch on the new Outlook, and that's when the uh, these uh, capabilities will start working. I'll do a quick recap uh, that when we talk about the new 1.10 APIs, this covers the signature APIs that we have, uh, which includes the set signature async to set signatures on mail compose or event compose, the get compose type async, which will allow you to assert in the compose mode of an email, is client signature enabled async to know whether an Outlook native signature is already enabled or not, and a disabled client signature async to disable the native signature and insert the uh, signature from the add-in. Uh, we also have insight notification, which will allow you to show a clickable info bar or a clickable notification on the mail or event compose areas. And that's where the users can actually click on it and it can open the task pane for the users to take more actions on top of it. You can refer to the documentation around this in the API requirements set 1.10. Um, and for the event-based add-ins, the events that are available on Outlook for Mac today are on new message compose and on new appointment organizer. So these are the two events available today. We are presently working on the 1.11 APIs, and that should also be coming up uh, pretty soon for you. Uh, there are two known issues that we have on Mac for, for the event-based add-ins, which is that if a signature API passes HTML in a complex form, it was causing the API to break. And also if you know there was an issue in the clickable info bar not working in certain scenarios. So we've checked in the fixes for it. And in the Jan prod release, uh, you should see those working fine. So we should have the Jan prod release coming up early next week. So would request you all to update to the latest builds and test out your add-ins on top of that. I have a short demo to share in terms of the uh, signature API add-ins. So I'll play that out. And uh, this is a signature add-in that we have built um, in-house for the demo. So it allows the users to specify their signature. So this kind of opens up the task pane where users can add their signature details. And uh, when they do save it, um, it'll allow them to choose different templates. So uh, you know, for a new mail, there can be one template. For a reply scenario, there can be another template. And forward can have a completely different template. Um, and this is overriding the Outlook signatures that we have natively. So once this is set and a new mail is kind of uh, opened, then the signatures will auto run. And this is using the on compose uh, auto uh, event for uh, mail compose. And similarly, it will work uh, for the, the selected templates will work for the reply and for the forward scenarios. So this is using both the 1.10 signature APIs along with the uh, on-compose events. There are also some other scenarios that we wanted to kind of, uh, you know, talk about or, you know, some things that you could explore. For example, attachments. There is a scenario that, uh, you know, uh, add-ins could not use us to use cloud storage if attachment sites exceed certain limits. So this can again run on Compose, check for attachments. The add-in can auto-launch, check the attachments, and then nudge the user. Um, so this can be more of like a smart Compose scenarios uh, that you can enable. Also for online meetings, uh, you know, in the event compose, there are certain interesting scenarios where you could nudge users during the meeting creation, or you could update meeting invites at real time if the user makes any changes. So it can open an add-in from the notification itself, or it could nudge the users without opening the add-in and, you know, make the entire experience smarter for those uh, users. And uh, you could also fetch item details without actually invoking the add-in or waiting for the user to invoke the add-in. And based on that, dynamically, your add-in can, uh, you know, launch and do different things. So very, very exciting capability. And we do think this will unlock a lot of new scenarios even beyond what we have thought of or presented. Um, so we'd be very happy for you to explore this further and you know, share any new scenarios or any new requests you might have for us around this. Yeah, that's it from me, Alex. Thank you, folks.
All right, thank you very much, Ashma. Um, cool, it's awesome to see parity between Mac and other platforms and just the, the new scenarios this unlocks. Thank you.